you know, thinking about Ibuki mm-hmm. made me realize something that's pretty frightening, honestly. Do you remember anything when you have despair disease? Evidence seems to indicate that maybe you don't. Akane, Akane didn't. didn't. And Nagito seemed like he didn't too, right? So that means you don't really remember anything, right? Yeah. So, so if Ibuki was the same, if we're right about that. Do, are you saying she died without being aware of it? Ibuki just like one day got sick and never woke up. The last thing she would have remembered was everyone ditching her concert. Yeah, that's what I'm getting at. That's sad. Isn't that just so... Not not just sad, but... Frightening. I realize this isn't a new concept. How many people die in their sleep? Possibly even a ma- like the majority of people or the vast majority of people who die, but... Dang, have you really thought about it? I'm just saying that thinking about this made me think about this. That's some great circular logic you got. It's one thing if you're expecting it. Like if you're old and just expecting to slip away. Or in poor health, you know. But what if you just went to sleep and that was it? Well, at least you died peacefully, so to speak. Is that better? Why? I I mean, you can make a case, but that's not really what I'm trying to do. All I'm pointing out is... Well, if she was aware of being strangled to death, I would rather pick the... If I didn't have a choice and I had to choose my method of death, I would much prefer the one that has the least amount of pain. If I had to choose... If, if, I, if I had the ability to choose my method of death from among some not-so-good options... Though, if there's a good way to die, sign me up. But uh, if I if I could choose my method of death like that, I'd I'd rather go out like staring the bastard in the face. All right. Okay. Even if I fail at the end. All right. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Even yeah, assuming, from that standpoint. even assuming I fail at the end, I just want to know that I did everything that I could within the power that I had, because then don't go quietly into that gentle night. That's assuming, of course, that all the options I had involved being murdered. Yeah. It's one thing if I'm, like, dying at the end of a long life. Right, right. Surrounded by family and friends. Like, oh, okay, that's that's probably the best way. The context is important. That was a digression. We are BSG. I'm We Too. Squared. I'm so sorry. I'm the opinionator. Now, let's finish this off. The way she's talking just seems like she's using this to garner sympathy with people. And that's the thing. You can't get past that doubt. Which way is it? Is she doing this? Is she faking this? Does Did she do it and doesn't remember because of the despair disease? Or was it someone else after all? And it plants that little doubt and you're like, maybe I'm wrong. Well, here's the thing. I... Monokuma said he he cured Nagito and Akane, but she was with us the entire time. No, no, Could she still have the despair disease? No. Who did he say he cured? You don't know what the script said exactly. Uh, you're right, but I'm pretty sure he implied that he cured the people at the hospital, but we didn't see him do anything with Mikan. He didn't have a line where he said, I cured... Nagito and Akane, did he? See, you can't make this argument unless you know exactly what he said. I could have sworn he said he cured the people with the despair disease. But what if you're wrong and what proof do you have? Okay. You can't make this argument without knowing exactly what was in the script. That's a fair point. It it could be that you're right, but you can't make that argument unless you know for sure. It wasn't one of those things that, like, stuck so you really remembered it. Yeah, yeah, it's just like a half-remembered... Yeah. Whatever. And the memory can be wrong. What? No, my memory's infallible. <sighs> Is that really true? <laughs> stop it already! That's enough! Well, I can't stop. Who was it? If it wasn't her, 
Then who? She needs to provide some freaking proof. And why? And again, if it's despair disease, she wasn't in her right mind. Okay. And if if it's a suppressed personality that's like, yeah, in there. Okay, that's fine. But we need to see it either way. Because until somebody can show otherwise, what are we wrong about? Why? Why would we be wrong about anything? It's only Nagito that's trying to confuse everyone. Of course he is. And it makes it, it kind of almost works. Not backing down from you, Akane, either, even though you could probably break me in half. I don't want to do this either. Of course I don't want to do this. But I need to do this. You doubt your friends? Oi! This don't is, you start that! This is the third time we'd all be dead otherwise. That's not it. I suspect them because I want to believe them. To find the proof that proves them innocent. What? In Spirit of Justice, a couple weeks ago anyway, we had this big long thing talking about doubt. Right, and belief. What's wrong with doubt? Doubt is, in many ways, a stepping stone to belief. If you don't doubt anything, then... Then do you really believe? Yeah. What evidence do you have that you believe it? That's not really what we're... I'm not going to go into it again, but... I mean, like, you know, if you live in your house and never go outside or look at the sky, how do you know it's blue? That really wasn't the direction that I was going. I was actually doing something from far more of, like, a, like a philosophical ethical standpoint okay as okay. opposed to uh a, an empirical standpoint okay like if you don't question your basic assumptions about why things are the way they are then how do you actually believe anything as what it is but what the hell does that mean hey shut up i just explained all that um I don't think belief and doubt are necessarily opposites. So I agree with this. come up in Spirit of Justice too? No, but I completely oh. agree with this. Huh? You can do both at the same time. Yeah. I do doubt her, but I still want to believe her. Belief lies at the heart of that conflict. Wh I, wasn't I just saying, what if we're wrong? Yeah. We. Uh, it's like we can't help it. I kind of want to be wrong. Be nice. It would be nice. Because if there's no room for doubt, then there's no reason to believe, is there? Of course, well done, making uh, expressing what I was just saying in a much more concise, pithy way. <laughs> it's Chiaki that usually does it, too. D don't say deep stuff. I don't really get it. If you want to believe in someone, you need to overcome doubt first. Yep. Belief without doubt is simply a lie. Fine. Do whatever you want. I won't stop you anymore. In some ways, this is also the argument Nagito is making. Kind of from the opposite angle? Uh, hope and despair. Like, what is... What is... You can't have hope without having despair. despair without having to, overcome contrasted. despair. So I want to create despair that can be overcome so that others can have this hope. Maybe even myself. And it's not that it's necessarily wrong, but it's one thing to talk about hope and despair. And it's another thing to talk about lives. Huh? Is that all you can say? Oh. Uh. So there is the real Mekon in there. The one who's not on the social confidence. Ah, so in the end, you're all just a bunch of bullies, huh? Justifying your actions with fancy words. Making excuses for why it's not really your fault. Where is she going with this? Everyone always treats me like that. <laughs> oh! That's not really true, is the thing. No one here has treated her like that. Yoko. Yoko. She always thought everybody else hated her and acted based on that. You don't do that unless you are really irrational. And this is this next part is the most important thing if you don't understand social cues at all. 
a lack of confidence, being depressed or paranoia, uh, feeling other sorts of emotions like those. Like there's a difference between Hiyoko, who who was who felt fear and shame, right, and Mikan. Yeah, yeah, fear yeah. and shame aren't hate. No, they're completely different. And I mean, maybe I'm overstating the hate part, but Mikan always talked about hate. It's a key part of her character. If you don't understand social cues at all, like that's you can't the only interact with people. That's the only reason. way you could end up acting like that. Isn't that actually kind of like a definition of a sociopath? Somebody who doesn't really yeah maybe not under, maybe not they understand them. They just don't care. I think it's something more like that. Hmm. Anyway, so this would be that suppressed Mekon we were considering that it was, which very well could be, like, sociopathic, n understands nothing. Only what she projects on other people. Like, it could be that... Her I sense of self may be so repressed that she's just acting kind of like a mirror, but what she's reflecting is what she perceives, not what's actually there. Yeah. It could also be like a certain character from Fate Stay Night who just maybe had like, <laughs> had an idea of, of A, what what being a sociopath is, and B, what is the right thing to do and what society expects. Please don't remind me of that route. And and it's just like it could it could be something kind of like that, where like, oh no, I know darn well I'm a sociopath and I tried to fight it for so long because I know it's wrong, but too late now, I just hated it so much. I'm done with that. You hear me? I'm done. Poor Mekon, but. Hey, hey, Mekon. It's not fair. It's not fair. Not fair. Not fair. Not fair, not fair, not fair, not fair, not fair, not fair, not fair! Why won't you forgive me? If you did something wrong, you forgive yourself right away! That's just not true. You want to know one particular person who would never forgive themselves for doing something wrong? That's Hiyoko. When you do something, when you have a personality like this, and you know I can speak from some degree of authority on I this. I think when we you have a, both do that. When you have a personality like that, and you do something wrong, you can't get over it. It can consume you. What did I do? We'll die for one! Is acting like this your strategy now? Well, this is annoying. Plus, to be honest, I've run out of ideas. How can we get you to admit it? That's the issue. I, I, I think she just kind of admitted it already? It doesn't matter, does it? Does anybody else need any? Well, okay, that's not true. You could also say if she really didn't do it and has been pushed this far. That doesn't it kind of make sense that they'd snap, especially when they were super freaking unstable, is currently pulling out own hair, Mikan. All right, all right. I, okay, okay, I can see that. If we don't have any clues, why don't we have her give us some? Because she's so cooperative. What? I'm the same as Hajime. I don't want to doubt any of my friends. But still... The truth is, one of us murdered two of our friends. That's why. We gotta stick with this until the very end. So we can finally break these chains of despair. Ch Chiaki! Hey, Mikan. Can I ask you one last thing? If you're not the killer, then who fabricated that video Hajime watched? <laughs> like I said, it obviously wasn't me! Can you prove it? P prove it? Wait! Do you have any proof that I'm the one who fabricated that video? I mean... No. We can prove that it wasn't Akane, but we can't prove that it wasn't Nagito, right? Yeah, yeah. But both of them had the opportunity. Mm -hmm. and, and honestly, Hajime too, right? That's true.
The same stuff everyone says. <laughs> That's totally crazy! I didn't do anything wrong! I mean, I grant that that she's had a lot of really awful stuff happen to her and that there wasn't anybody there for her to get her the help that she needed, but... Ah, that's no excuse for doing what she allegedly did. Why does everybody always hate me? Please, just forgive me already! Like Fuyuhiko said, it's like the thief who accuse, accuses everyone else of being thieves. She, Mikon is so obsessed with being hated, with being the target of hatred, that it completely warped everything everything and, about her and i mean she's like that because like mental illness and nobody ever helped her and you know it's easy to see how you could become extremely vindictive the question of what to do when the mentally ill commit crimes comes up in trials all the time and it's sad it's sad and it's a real tragedy where there's a variety of different answers for her. As for what is right and wrong, there's a real debate to be had. That debate is not one that I think we're going to have right now. Oh, no, no. But I'll tell you what, what she did was wrong, regardless. 100%. And, and unfortunately, there's only one result to this trial. We're not in a court of law. We're not. We're in Danganronpa. We're in a killing game. And I, she played the game. She played the game knowing what the consequences were. If she wanted... If she wanted someone to stick up for her, this isn't how you do it. Nobody needed to forgive you for anything because you hadn't done anything wrong. Then you did something worse than anybody else has done. Now people can forgive you, but I, I've said my piece. I yeah. think I've made my point. Yeah. Is this broad really okay? She's emotionally unstable. Ah, the declarative sentence, <laughs> where great truth is declared. Uh, I, I'm not the killer. The video. I, I never filmed the, 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 the last video. Hmm. It seems she finally started arguing for us. What? But the only one who can find the hole in her argument is you, Hajime. Nobody I'm else. The only one that's seen the video. Yeah. So. I'm going to leave this to you once again. Even then, isn't it a he said, she said? Like, literally here? Could it be? Was this Chiaki's goal all along? She's saying everyone's fate depends on me. The only person who saw that video. Why do you get to decide I'm the killer? Where's your proof? Please, forgive me already! <sighs> By saying forgive me, she's admitting that there is something that needs to be forgiven. She's always talked like this. The world she lives in isn't the same as the world the others live in. The world Nagito lives in isn't the same as yeah. the world the others live in. The world Junko lived in isn't the same as the world the others live in, but... I need to make up my mind. I'm the one who has to do it. I'm the one who's going to finish this. Hmm. I'm not 100% sure. Mikan's account. I'm not the killer. That's my gut. We can't think of anybody else other than you. What do you guys got? Who could have filmed that video? Huh? Do you have any proof? Yeah, that's Is the real me. The bag. Head the proof? The bag. Is the hospital gown she was wearing suspicious? For me, yeah, but or okay. The hospital slippers she had on. Yeah. Mekon's bright, and remember? Mikon clearly have different body types. Yeah. Is Thank you. Your proof? Tate, though. You could tell her body type under the hospital gown. I mean, kind of. Just from that video. Just from that camera angle. Well done. Just from that dim candlelight? Yeah. There's no way you'd be able to make out her body type! So please forgive me already! Hajime, pay close attention and listen well. 
Her voice You're completely the only changed. One who can point out the killer's mistake. Okay. Okay, hold on now. Before we get before we dive into that, just like a sociopath, she's hyper rational. And just like I had been arguing in the last episode, every single point has been calculated. That's so fascinating. This is so interesting. Let's take a look at what we got. Huh, I wonder what the noose was connected to. Well, that surely doesn't it's matter. Relevant. So she mentioned the hemp bag. Yeah. She mentioned the robes. Uh, we have, it's, remember how we were wondering, Monokuma won't tell us who got the bag. Yeah. Okay, but there's there's two hemp bags. The one on Ibuki's, the one that Ibuki had, and and the one that Mikan was wearing. Yeah. Right? It would have to be. I'm sure that you're right about the about having to remember a killer's mistake, but let's let's run through it again. Huh? Do you have any proof? Just empty Is inside, you know. Had the proof? <gasps> Is the hospital Go to the menu. This is the only thing about the bag, but Monokuma's okay. account, I don't think, was on it. Let me see. No, I, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. That's fine. I wanted to look at the bag to see if it might have been, like, the decal, but it was the same one. Go back to Monokuma's account. Okay, well, this is going to come up, like, the last thing, but that's fine. Like, this is what we're dealing with, is this right here. Even if even if the de even if the Monomi decal on the bag were a problem, we wouldn't be able to see it from here. And the slippers, I can't imagine there's a problem, but we should look and see at the other thing that has the slippers. If there's something wrong with the noose, we have no way of talking about it. We already discussed the blood on the step ladder. So what was the killer's mistake? Was it the hemp bag? It's just we haven't talked about that bag yet. Is that really your proof? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown. Yeah? Just Haven't we been shrieking video? about that? Yeah. Why isn't Just it that? The camera angle. Maybe the camera angle. How Just does she know what the camera the angle candlelight? is? That's it. It's the camera There's angle. No way you'd be able to make out her body type. Well, you're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. So the killer's mistake is the camera angle. Fine arts! What? Fine arts! No, you're right. It's the camera angle. How would anybody know what the camera angle was? Right. Only The only person who knows what the camera angle was is Hajime. And the person who shot the film. Who Nobody's... probably picked the camera angle to hide her fine art. You could tell her body type under the hospital gown. Just from that video. Just from that camera angle. Booyah! Shoot through that contradiction. Smooth as silk. <sighs> Mikan, you've committed a major mistake. I like how the noise was in like a cross formation, like a red cross for a hospital. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mistake? As I said before many times, I'm the only one who saw that video. <laughs> What's wrong with that? But I never said anything about the camera angle. <laughs> <laughs> so how can you say anything about the camera angle as if you saw that video yourself? <laughs> the only reason Mikan knew the camera angle Hajime had seen is because you're the person who actually filmed that video. Is that right? This is your just reward. The more desperately you argue, the deeper you dig yourself into a hole. You lied, didn't you? Ah! Oh. Are you serious? <sighs> it's the truth. Is it hmm. true, Mikan? Did you... Did you kill Hiyoko and Ibuki? Huh. This isn't the ah! person I was expecting <laughs> to react that way, you know? Right. Well, she spent so much time defending Mikan. And Mikan took care of her while she was sick. Huh? Uh. 
There is no justice in this world. There is no hope. There is only despair. For this game to target me directly, <laughs> what did I ever do? <laughs> All I'm doing is playing this game and maybe criticizing the localization a bit, which is, uh, of course, the root of the huh yeah. and my, uh, my objection. So it was decided that I should pay for this. <laughs> and paid I have. I can't help but think my puns may have contributed so much to this cosmic karma. Why did the universe have to destroy me? <laughs> I was wrong. Wrong. No, no, that's not it at all. That's not it? Y you know, anybody who who suppresses themselves, who denies themselves this much, would always have on a mask. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And gets good at that mask. A difference between somebody who has uh, a very, very, very low politeness score of uh, the big five personality test, say, right? Like, like uh, Hiyoko mm -hmm. doesn't construct a mask. It's actually being brutally honest. It doesn't mean they're right. Right. It right. doesn't mean that that calling out the what their perception is or what their feelings are is right. I, I don't mean. I mean, doesn't mean they've correctly observed something, but it's not deceptive. It's not deceptive in any way. Yeah, because th there's like no mask at all. Somebody with Hyoko's personality type holds back none of their feelings, hence the pig barf. Yeah, yeah. But Mikan holds always, back everything, and so has like layers of masks on, and that's why she's so unstable. Well. I mean, you can see that she has that when, when it swaps between all this crazy stuff. And remember when Hioko was lying in the last trial and it was she was really bad at it? Yeah. Brutally honest. Versus serial deceiver. Which also doesn't mean wrong. Yeah, we're not trying to it's, draw some sort of moral equivalency here. Well, I mean, it's like the problem with Immanuel Kant, like, you know, the philosopher, was that he just got so hung up with the logical conclusion of his argument about uh, about lying that that he just went insane discussing lies, and I'm not going to discuss Kant. Never mind. Anyway! Got to maintain the continuity. This is why you have to suffer, because I, I make jokes like this. I wanted to say something. I wanted to try and come up with a pun about categorical imperative, but I couldn't. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's impossible. Okay. I'm sorry. I impossible? You know that hemp bag Ibuki was wearing when she died? Try remembering the tote bag instead. Ding! I totally remember now. Uh-huh. What the heck's wrong with her? She's getting weirder by the minute. And considering everyone else at this trial, that's saying something. That tote bag. Isn't it the same one that girl was wearing in the video? Monokuma's account. How do you know so much about that video? Right? <laughs> Who cares about that? I feel like that's pretty salient! More importantly, did you know that bag is a limited item that was sold at the movie theater? Hajime saw it too, didn't you? You remember the Usami decal on it, right? Uh, that's what I was trying to look for when I first, when she said the bag, I was looking to see if we could see the detail. Well, the decal, decal should be on the front of the bag, which isn't seen in this camera angle. Right, but because it wasn't... Ah! Because she got every detail right. You're right. Whoopsie. Don't worry about it. What? I remember even if you don't. That's BS! <laughs> Ta-da! There's no mistake that that tote bag is a limited item. So don't you think it's impossible? Oh, come remember, on, Mikan. Remember when Monokuma said this and he was like, I feel I let something really important slip. No, he might have said that about one of the other things he did that on. I, I, yo, you mean all the other times he's actually helped us? 
Using one tote bag in both the conference room and the music venue at the same time. We just looked at the account to verify this during the during the debate. It, yeah. It's blatantly obvious that that's impossible. Don't you think? No. That's why that video isn't fabricated, and I'm not the killer. So you'll forgive me, right? You know, we have had another sociopath in this series. Yeah? Junko. It was more extreme, but wasn't she going from mask to mask and trying to be hyper-rational as well? That's true. That's true. All I'm saying is just pointing out a similarity. Okay. No, you're right. You're right. Okay. Well, I thought that was more interesting than you did, apparently. Then you're gonna forgive me? I won't stop until you forgive me! There's a concept, monism. Motism? Monism. Monism. Monoism, ah, ah. essentially, where you are focused on one thing and uh, everything... Like, you can make a monistic argument on, on many grounds. Whatever your one thing is, you boil every circumstance down to this one thing. I see. And you can make it kind of make sense with most anything that's well thought out enough. Like a personal philosophy that's that's focused on one aspect. Yeah, one aspect completely. And the thing and like I said, you can kind of make it make sense. But nothing, literally nothing in the entire world is so simple that one thing is a theory of the entire world. Yeah. That's ridiculous. She is obsessed with this with forgiveness and hatred which are kind of the 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 opposite sides in the way that she talks about it so mm -hmm. it's like kind of the same concept and that's why it's so weird that's why it's so alien you can't just monistically apply this value that nobody else shares nagito at least that's the point of the dang series you're correct uh there's just something fundamentally off-putting with someone who isn't all there. Well, yeah, it's it's like the Uncanny Valley thing. It's just different enough that it, in, in like a fundamental way, in a basic way, that it's frightening. It's like humans humans are social creatures and connect with each other on, a, on various different levels. But for someone like this, there isn't a way they can connect. And that's what's so off-putting and alienating. Yeah, nobody has Mekons. We, uh, you know, it's possible that there is something absolutely horribly traumatic in her past. But it, it, but it's like, what? Well, how could anybody connect on on her values of hatred, like self-hatred and seeking forgiveness? How can anybody understand anything she's talking about? It's not like she tells them. She just refuses to let everyone in. She only demands one thing of them, that they forgive her. But she also seems to, like, know that that's sort of wrong. And that's why there was the mask. Yeah. And if I do this, then I get what I want. But, of course, she never actually got what she wanted. I really do understand Mekon here, because for the longest time, I was in a similar boat of hating myself and wanting people to forgive me. And I also let myself become a human doormat. And for the sake of, like, acceptance and forgiveness from people. I Is am no really longer... forgiveness, though? Wasn't it really acceptance? I suppose that's correct, but I feel like it's similar enough that I can relate to that. It's still wrong! You that? Oh, yeah, no, that's... At the, at the heart of it, it's, is it still wrong? I, but, I, well, really, never... really the main person's forgiveness I sought was myself for all the things I did as a horrible person. So I could really understand Mekon here, but she's wrong! Yeah, it's like the thing that you always find at the other end of whether it's having a personality like Kyoko or, or whether it's something like this. What you find out at the end is that you were wrong. Long time no see. Well, not really. Oh, you know, good unless your you. only experience is just Let's Play, in which case it's been 42 years! It's time for the third uh, Parent Teacher Association. Oh. oh, that was lame. This is probably going to be my last job during a class trial until I'll miss you. Until there's one more thing where I jump up out of out of nowhere, surprise you. Nah. Please humor me while I taint your ears one last time with my lies. <laughs> 
Starting from this PTA, the reload and ammo features will be added. Oh no. You should be able to find it beyond this point. What you and I both yearn for! True despair! <gasps> it was the mastermind the entire time! That explains so much! It That definitely explains it. Well then, good luck and have fun! <laughs> That crime is impossible for anyone to pull off. This chick, has she lost it for good? Will you forgive me? You'll forgive me, right? Isn't that right? You're obviously gonna forgive me, right? <sighs> At this rate, we're not getting anywhere. I gotta do something and end this! I gotta do something so I can make her admit it! What was that? I mean, was that just, like, for effect? I don't know. Ha! <laughs> you still haven't forgiven me? Please, draw on me! Draw on- yeah, draw on Why me, of course. Me? Please, draw on me! Reload. Can you forgive me already? Forgive me! Forgive me! Since Please, you just have to hold the me. button, it's not so bad. Can you forgive me already? I'll do anything you want. Can you forgive me already? Good. Yes, she's want. got a lot of life. Forgive me! Forgive me! Why only me? You still haven't forgiven me? Please, draw on me! Why only me? Please, draw on me! Can you forgive me Just already? About. Okay, let's get ready. Forgive me. There's only one back. Bonus theater prize. Theater it's bonus prize? Time. It's theater bonus prize. Oh, this one's lame. There's theater bonus one. prize. It's impossible. This is the end. Yeah, this one could hardly be used as a joke at all. Thea? Thea Bag Bone Pride Sword. Kuma mentioned this earlier. Thea is the best. Well, Tur is pretty good. Bonus Boo Sword Meat. Bonus Trans Meat Tur. <laughs> when you buy one bag, you get another one free. It's a common practice to bait customers with bonus prizes of dubious value. Bag should have received another one as a bonus prize. Which means it's not impossible to use that bag in two separate places. So please, just stop making desperate excuses. <laughs> Why? Because I slipped up and actually told them. I'm sorry I told him. <laughs> Do you believe me? For the record, I want to punch your Monokuma in the face, too. <laughs> Seems her desperate struggle is finally coming to an end. Why does everybody always hate me? You should just forgive me already! Nobody ever hated you, damn it! Uh... Mikon, it's already over. This is a thoroughly inappropriate time to say this. Thoroughly inappropriate. But now that it's come into my mind, I can't let it go. I understand that sentiment very much. I have to let this out before I can move on. Did you have to phrase it like that? Yes. Prize the pooter! Prize the pooter? It's available now. Or booter, I'm sorry, booter. Okay, that makes more sense. I was like, what, what prize phrase Prize the booter. Prize the booter. Okay. Prize the booter! <sighs> now let's just get on with... Mm. After I go over your crime from the beginning, and show that you have no arguments left. Please, just admit it already. In the end, at least let me believe in you. What a way to phrase it. Hmm.
It would be better if they just admit it, you know? Yeah. What I saw on the monitor. Okay, it's nothing here. Turn on the monitor. Rush is over here. Yeah, and really nothing yet. This is, it's nice how this is really Hajime focused. Well, That's, that makes sense. Uh, well, yeah, because it, it was that. And then he comes here, sees Ibuki. Runs yeah, that's off. nice. You know, the resolution is steadily increased with every passing one of these. <laughs> All right, so this goes right. here to reveal Hyoko. The small clue. Well, what about the go? Go to the. No, oh, okay. So the drumstick wins to fate. And then that was also earlier. That specific scene. So okay, these so two we need to fates. set the glob. right here, what's left of the camera unit. Yeah. And then we use that, and that's this wave. Oh, there we go. Isn't that it? What did the killer do after the broadcast? Well, the bottom left. What? This one? Move the cursor down. Okay, I, I just wanted you to look at what you have. Yeah, I think that's correct, because he threw off the hip bag after the broadcast. What I saw on the monitor, the yeah. video of the broadcast hanging. That really looks like a PSP. <laughs> I'm sure that's not a mistake. But hey, you know, the mouse, like computer mouse, the one, the mouse that everybody uses, mm -hmm. you know, that was just some random technology invented just for kicks by Xerox, and nobody was ever expecting anything would come of it. Huh. And Steve Jobs just happened to be there, and he was like, my God, this is the most brilliant thing I've ever seen. Interesting. And that's why we have the mouse. So The small clue that the killer left after ripping it down was the ripped piece on the baton lighting. Yep. Here's everything that happened in what? this case. That's it? Did we even look at everything? It's the surveillance I... camera video that only I saw. I thought there'd be more! That's why I'm going to start with that to unravel the knots of this crime. Well, that was fast. When I went to the hospital with Mikan this morning, I noticed a specific thing in the lobby. Flick, 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 flick. The incoming signal light on the surveillance monitor was blinking ahead of the scheduled time. Okay, that's why. That's why it turned out like this. Uh-huh. This, unlike every other one of the closing arguments, this didn't talk about the murder. This talked about the cover-up of the murder and how Mikan was luring Hajime around. Where was the murder in any of those? That's why we didn't see any of that. Strange. We still don't actually know entirely the circumstances. Are we... it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. We've got it, but it's just like this was about the, the cover-up, huh. not the crime. Okay. When I switched on the monitor, what appeared on screen was... You really could see the decal there, but Hajime didn't remember it then. Right. A person wearing a hospital gown and a bag on their head about to hang themselves right at that moment. Dash! The camera unit was designed for two-way communication with the hospital and the music video. I'm not insane, right? The resolution of these images is increasing with every successive one, right? I think you're right, but I don't actually remember. I mean, you are the one who puts these together, so it would make sense that you would recognize and remember that sort of thing more clearly. That is true. That's why I thought the signal originated from the music video. So I immediately headed over there. Which was the whole point. But that was the killer's trap. In truth, that video was recorded in a different place. The killer brought the music venue camera the night before and made their preparations in advance. And then, they filmed that video in the hospital conference room. By doing so, they tried to make me think the incident was happening in real time. When in fact, the crime had already been committed by that point. The person in the footage wearing the bag was actually the killer acting as a fake. I didn't know that, so I went to the music venue and found the hanged body wearing a bag on its head. I realize we're not saying anything, but what is there to say? Yeah, we, I mean, we've already reacted to all of this kind of stuff. 
<laughs> Seeing the body before me, I panicked and rushed out of there to get the rest of you guys. But should have checked was also it. Also part of the killer's trap. I know. After cleaning the conference room, the killer was likely watching the music venue from outside. Like when Hioko came out of the closet, she she at least looked in the shower room before running away. Right. And as if they were switching places with me, they went inside the music venue. I mean, Hajime didn't know how to get her down. Yeah, he didn't know about the controls or anything. But if he would have looked in the room, you know, he was just uh, he... no, no, it's fine, it's fine. I'm not actually criticizing him. I'm just saying, look around for a second, because he did fall for the trap completely. But you know, last time, Pecco was in the was in this case, uh huh, and was there the whole time. Whereas this time, we thought the killer was here the whole time, but she wasn't. But she wasn't. She'd already. I mean, we didn't think that for that long. It's just an interesting co uh, contrast. And began working on their last trick. First, the killer peeled off the wallpaper covering one of the stage pillars, revealing Hyoko's body. When I first arrived and saw the hanged body, I didn't notice anything strange about that pillar. I didn't expect it to be slightly larger from the wallpaper or have Hyoko's body hidden inside. Next, the killer destroyed the surveillance camera that was used in the conference room. After destroying it, they mixed it with what was left of the surveillance monitor found at the crime scene. The surveillance camera the killer used was originally brought from the music venue, but when they brought it, they made sure to destroy its monitor beforehand. They wanted to hide the fact that the camera wasn't at the crime scene. Because we would have noticed an intact monitor and then it was broken mm -hmm. when we came back. Mm -hmm. That's something that was big enough that would be noticed. Mm -hmm. In the end, the killer transformed the crime scene into a closed room. They broke one of the drumsticks from the storage room and placed it near the music venue's entrance. However, they did this to mislead us into believing that the music venue was locked from the inside. In actuality, the reason the music venue became a closed room was because of the glue. The killer sealed the door with glue and intentionally created a closed room that could be forced open. There was just a lot more manipulation of details going on here than there normally is. We've had quite a lot of more haphazard jobs, I guess. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But that just goes to fit with her being like a sociopath and really detail-oriented and... Yeah, I, that's fascinating. With that, the killer finished tampering with the crime scene and met up with Fuyuhiko and me. Are you serious? Are there like two acts in which we didn't have to do anything? At least two, or at least one, yeah. What? We just half the closing argument wasn't they there. Force open the music venue door, despite the fact that they personally sealed it. All right, okay, so Chiaki is all like, hey, push. And then Fuyuhiko with his hands in his pocket. Yeah, yeah. Like him and, him and Hajime were both like kicking the door down. They made us discover not just Ibuki's body, but Hyoko's suddenly present body as well. At the time, they pretended to be surprised, but inside, they were probably relieved that their plan worked out. Huh, this is new. Oh, well, I see. Yeah, this is the reveal. Of... Isn't that right, Mikan? This crime was orchestrated by you, wasn't it? Jeez. You big dummy. No one's ever going to forgive you now. <laughs> Whoa! N now she's laughing? She's... She, she can't. She can't anymore. She can't fight it. She can't resist it. She can't refute it. <sighs> it's been so... Such a long time. And her voice is so clear. This feeling, I know it well. Like the floor is collapsing. Like the sky is falling down upon you. She is acting very Junko-esque. This feeling of despair! Oh! Mikon, you... What has happened to you? Huh. Whoa there! Before that... A moment of your time. We uh need to vote, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Uh. 
Or we don't? Billy, you were surprised by this every single time. Why should I break with tradition at this point? It seems your arguments have reached a conclusion. So let's proceed to our regularly scheduled voting time. Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? <laughs> the blush and the drool and the... Uh, uh, the sense of release. Let's go! On a side note, the female cast of this game has been wiped out. Well now. Now then, though it may be obvious at this point. Correct. You got it right once again. That's like three in a row, guys. Like, wow. That's right, the true identity of the horrifying Blackened who killed two girls was Mikan Tsumiki. Damn it. Isn't it wonderful how well women get along? <laughs> you gotta be shitting me. Are you saying Mikan, the one who nursed us back to health? Was the one who killed them? I won't forgive you. Don't joke around with me, Mikan. Did you lie to us all along? Were you planning to kill them from the start while you were nursing them? <laughs> hey! Don't just laugh! Say something! This is going nowhere! <laughs> What's going on? This chick! Hey, hey! This is nothing like Peko. She's actually gone mental. That's obvious. There's nothing we can do. She's no longer the same person. She's no longer the Mikan Tsumiki we knew. What? Despair disease, remember? I called it from the beginning You're like right. that. You're right. Based on my predictions, she might have caught it too. She probably had the despair disease, which was the motive for this case. What? Mikan too, you say? I... I know, because I was looking at Mikan for so long. She was the one taking care of me, after all. My consciousness kept drifting, but even so, when I did catch a glimpse of her, her expression was... <sighs> Full of despair. A despair so devoid of hope that not even a single fragment of it remained. Hold on. Did you say Mikan also had the despair disease? Yeah. Then that means she was... What? The very first thing I said mm -hmm. in this entire trial was wouldn't it be profound if it was someone who had despair disease and wasn't in their right mind and realized it afterwards? Hmm? Hajime, has something crossed your mind? My body's heavy. No, not just heavy. It's somewhat soft and really hot. Just like Damon said. That's right. Mikan felt really hot at that time. Now that I think about it, that must have been a high fever, just like what Ibuki and Akane had. It cannot be. Then, because of that disease, Mikan was... Perhaps? The symptoms that she surely felt must have been deserving of the name Despair Disease. Losing all hope and harboring despair for all hope. Because of the Despair Disease, she was likely overcome with despair. See? That's the reason why she can still laugh in such a hopeless situation. <laughs> well, I guess looking at it that way, it explains the easy comparison to Junko. That's correct. No, that's probably thinking too far into it. 
Like if despair disease is actually a thing. Jeez. Which means the Mekon standing before us is no longer the ultimate nurse. She's a completely different person now that she's infected by the despair disease. Isn't that right? She's a human who deserves to be called, as we said, the ultimate despair! Or maybe it is a thing in the Dongon universe. I am not going to go down that rabbit hole. Even if it's true, that's dumb. Okay. That's just dumb. All right. It's fine for a case like this, but that that's monistic. Monistic, you're right. Come on. If nobody in Danganronpa, if the villains have no agency you're because right, of some you're stupid right. bug, you're that right. would be a horrible, horrible plot twist. Ultimate despair? That sounds familiar. <laughs> I... That's the reason why I cannot forgive this. I mean, killing someone for the sake of despair, instead of for the sake of hope. Impossible. There's no way I can forgive that. Killing for one reason is evil, but killing for the other reason is good. Why don't people see that? Akane, knock him out and we'll tie him back up in the frickin' boathouse or whatever the heck next room we find. For the sake of despair? <laughs> That's completely wrong. Huh? Wrong. Wrong. What's wrong? What I did was for the sake of my beloved. Eh? Uh, she might be talking about Hajime. She very well might be. She unquestionably was stalking him in the beginning, after all. Even if that was... Maybe the... I don't remember if that was, like, the beginning of the game, or if it was her first FTE. Huh? Uh, yeah, that! Huh? Who, who are you talking about, you creepo? Uh -huh. Ah, I okay, see. Okay, okay. Or it's just something else. If only they were still alive, they'd be so happy. I know. Um... My beloved was the only one. That's right. The only one. This is... disturbing. Oh, oh my god. This case went down that rabbit hole some time ago, but it's still going. Never hated me. They forgave my existence. She's not talking about Hyoko, is she? They forgave me and accepted me. They gave me value. They loved me. I loved them with all my heart, and they returned it in full. This is my reciprocation. <sighs> I understand that I've done something unforgivable. But you know, but you know, to transcend all that is truly love. what love is all about. Hey. I don't understand what you're saying. And that's something coming from Nagito. Love? Who would ever value something like... No, that's not what I mean. <laughs> you don't understand? Is that because I'm a really strange person with an alien value system who's had lots of problems my whole life? I'm sorry I'm crazy. <laughs> Is it because you don't have anyone to love? Is it because you're also someone who isn't accepted by anyone? Oh, I think that might be true. Oh. What a pity. I feel sorry for you. <laughs> wow! Nagito being caught off guard like this! Well... Even if I say this, I'm sure nobody here would understand, but... Love is a wonderful thing. <sighs> Ah, this feeling of freedom where you no longer care about anything. 
My beloved and I are the only ones within that thin veil. And I'm just looking out through it. <laughs> That's why, as long as I'm on the inside, no matter how much they tease me, splash me with water, kick me. Oh, how amazing. It's like nothing matters. I could just die. That's how little it matters. Who cares about hope or despair? It's love. Only love. Nagito, is this really the despair disease you were talking about? I'm starting to doubt that highly. This is... It seems that I was wrong. Not only was she affected by despair, <laughs> you were half right. It's right to say that this is all thanks to that disease. Because thanks to that disease, I was able to remember my beloved. Oh no, is it someone that she... That's like, what I was thinking. Like I, like I made the killed. misery reference in the very beginning when we first talked to her, uh, where, where a fan, a nurse who was a fan of an author found him in a car wreck and then kept him hospitalized at her house so he could finish the next book. Like breaking his legs and well, I don't I don't think it's like that, but it could have been some I, I, something I, similar. I don't I don't know. Remember? <laughs> Apparently that's what my symptom was. <laughs> what a wonderful symptom. Which means you had the remembering disease. But, but if this means she remembered something and ended up like this... Such despair. Are you saying you were like this from the start? Were you like this before you even came to the island? <laughs> Don't get so angry! Well, first of all, the reason I became like this wasn't my fault. It was all your fault, you know. Because it's not like I'm entirely responsible for turning out like this. I'm the person I am today because of many human relationships. So it's everybody's fault that I turned out like this, you see? No, I mean, we, it's kind of almost exactly what we talked about. Yeah, you can have an awful, awful past and have all kinds of people do something bad to you, but how you turn out is ultimately based on you. Well, I don't want to oversimplify things and creating too many... I, I just, I don't agree with this line of thought. I agree with that, nor should you. Yes. It's... You can't just say that she has no responsibility in this. You ultimately must be responsible for yourself to some degree. Uh, like I said, the arguments for and even, even to some degree laws in place have struggled with stuff like this. <laughs> but I'm just, I'm just saying I'm open to the arguments. But at the end of the day, that doesn't mean that you get to say, well, even though you killed people, though, it's fine. Yeah. Y you can't do that. No. That's... Not at all. Even so, the current me was most strongly influenced by my beloved's existence. And it was also my beloved who created the me that everyone can't forgive. But my beloved still forgives me and still accepts me. That is the key difference between all of you and my beloved. Don't fuck with me! Like I said, who the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> are you saying this is Mekon? She's the real Mekon? Mekon, please answer me. Did you really remember? You ended up like this all because you remembered? There's no way I can believe that. There's no way the person you are right now is the real me, Khan. <laughs> oh, you still doubt me? Then 
to prove I remember, I'll tell you all something nice. So, what does she remember? Because she very well might provide some awfully clarifying information in the third trial. Well, before the third trial in the first game, wasn't there somebody else who remembered You're right. something? You're right. Hifumi remembered something. As remembered you... Celeste's real name. Yeah. Proving that everyone had, had... their memories taken. So, uh, what's she going to say? But, so, if they, only, not... well, if they only had their memories of being at Hope's Peak taken away and not the others... Who is this person at Hope's Peak Academy that influenced her so greatly? I'm not even necessarily alleging that it's that, but in a game where everyone is alleged to have lost your me their memories, having somebody say something like, to prove I remember, I'll tell you all something nice seems significant. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it could be something pretty messed up. <laughs> it's about that world in their organization that you all were worried about. You serious? I mean, maybe it really was somebody like Junko. You know? <laughs> Not know. I just remembered. That's all. I knew about it all along. Uh, that horrifying organization known as World Ender is also the organization known as the Future Foundation. Oh, yeah? Like the word emblazoned on the front door of the Hope's Peak Ruins? Future Foundation. That would be the one. Future? Mirai Zaidan or something like that. That's right. That symbol on the ancient ruins door. That's right. It was the Japanese word for future. Hey. Just what is the Future Foundation? What are they planning? <sighs> As the name suggests, that organization is the World Ender. The Future Foundation is trying to end our world. To put it simply, they're trying to claim the world for themselves. This is bad. What the heck? This isn't a comic book, you know? <laughs> Are you saying it's real? As part of their plan to end the world, the Future Foundation brought us to this island. Huh. Isn't that right, Monomi? Uh, I, I'm sure I wouldn't know. You... I... I we can't help motorcycles. I, I knew it. Monomi, Monokuma, they're both members of that crazy organization, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Monomi and I aren't members. I am Monokuma! My existence is entirely my own! I really believe that to a degree. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god. Hey. Don't laugh, please. Hey, Mikon, if you really do remember. You know, Monokuma's letting her say this. Mm -hmm. Instead of just being like, well, time for the execution! Yep, that is correct. Then you already know, right? You know the true identity of the traitor hiding among us. <laughs> <laughs> of course I know that. Let's see. The future foundation lackey that's hiding among you all is... Oh, well. No one really cares about that, don't you think? Of course not! Oh, hell no! I mean, that was part of the motivation for the fourth trial in the last game! Hachime. Oh, man. Oh, man! <laughs> what a twist if that was the case. You'll find out eventually, so there's no need to be so impatient. Probably when that really obvious <laughs> countdown that I noticed <laughs> Countdown? What are you talking about? You you even know about that? It's Wait, not... if I knew, why didn't I tell anyone? It's not that I know about it. Even I know about it. It's that all of you people are so stupid. <laughs> why didn't any of you look at the giant freaking clock? 
<laughs> I don't know anything. What? I have a feeling that's what it is, but who cares about that, you know? <laughs> and I'm drowning in so much love. From the bottom of my heart, I just don't care about anyone or anything. I finally been released. <laughs> that is me, Khan. Is this really you? I I won't believe it. There's no way I could believe you were like this all along. Because if that's true, then who's the person we've been spending time with up until now? I'm sorry. The past. Past? That person. She didn't exist in the beginning. She's just my past self who lost her school memories. <laughs> <laughs> you guys considered that thing a friend. Oh. <sighs> that doesn't make me happy at all. It just fills me with despair. But... You guys accepted my past self, but not my present self. You know, rather unambiguously in the third trial, Celeste was, well, an evil woman. That's true. And you can say that this time around, the perpetrator was an evil woman. That's... Well... Well, that applies to you as well. Memories of people, memories of events, whatever memory it is, losing memories are Do you understand? like losing your personal identity. Memory is the most important component in building a person, don't you think? Losing our memories makes us shadows of the past, don't you think? Hey. I don't know what you're trying to say, but in the end, it always leads back to that story. That story about our stolen school lives. Hey, hey! So, it was true all along? Our memories were taken away! Damn it! I don't think that's entirely true. What Mikon is saying about memory, I mean. I'm not trying to devalue memory, but that's saying that people have no inherent characteristics, and actually a lot of modern psychology research has, like involving identical twins, has real, has, people do have inherent personalities there's one there's one school of thought that that believes that nature is something like 90 percent as opposed to memories which would be more like nurture i personally am not taking a stand on this argument that's not what i'm trying to say but i think a person has more inherent characteristics than just their lived experience right and also it's not like i mean i guess they're because of how old they are a year is a big difference mm -hmm. but for old fogies like us. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Okay. I'm not now, agreeing with her either. Yeah, but that's I that's really all. I'm, point. That, yeah, that's really all I'm saying is I I don't agree with her point, but I'm not. I promise I am not taking a strong stand on this topic. But this is not the place for it. If it wasn't true, we wouldn't be suffering this much. <laughs> well, why don't you just take your sweet time and remember at your own pace? Oh. Oh, Monokuma, is it all right for you to start now? Yes, indeed. <gasps> Punishment time. Damn it. Why? Mikon, why does it have to end like this? This is too pointless. This is too much. Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment. A punishment for the ultimate nurse, Mikan Tsumiki. <gasps> Who is this a punishment for? I'm more concerned with the fact that he has a patient. He does have a patient, doesn't he? That's, that's what I just realized. Well, I mean, I'm wondering if this is a punishment for the real Mikan or the shell Mikan, the mask Mikan. It's hard to say. So it's over. It's really. Now I can go to my beloved, who always forgives me. I can finally see them. Please forgive me, the one who's going to die with the hope of finally seeing you. You know, 
in the end, we're never even going to understand what the heck she's talking about. Because that's just the way things are. It's possible the FTEs might hint at something. Surely, surely. Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! Oh, Nekomaru. Are we going to have two cases in a row where somebody else not related to it gets pulled out of the execution at the end? Ah, as a patient. Getting a shot, is it? The method is execution? It's just a lethal injection? Well, I mean, that's pretty lethal. What is going on? What in God's name? Um... She's Whoa! getting shot into a lethally injected rocket punch rocket into the sky. Mirai Otsukame Doketo Punch, or something like that. What? 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 What was that? I... Oh! You know what? I'm glad Nekomaru wasn't there, but... She... Wasn't directly killed. The world around her is larger than it, or I, and she's reaching out for something, reaching always into, into Dude, the Dude, I don't know, man. For, for her beloved, and in the end is finally getting the chance to go and see her beloved oh so far away as she reaches out to, that's the best I got <laughs> off the top of my head, right? <laughs> Actually, I think all that is really pretty, pl pretty plausible. And it didn't really have very much... Okay, okay, no, that's pretty plausible. Not only that, it didn't have really anything to do with her being a nurse at all, did it? There was just, like, the trappings on the outside, and he comes in with the syringe, and then it's like, BAM! And it's like the facade all falls away, and it's something completely different, as right. the real Mekon is, in fact, someone wistfully looking towards something, and it's so far away it can never be reached, as the rocket punch flies out to grasp it. That's what it was. Anywho, it's finished. Is it really finished? The killer who killed Ibuki Miyoda and Hyoko Sayonji was Mikan Sumiki. We've talked enough about Hyoko, but... Although, I mean, apparently it's just like us and nobody else. Right. But Ibuki. Poor Ibuki. To have to go for... A reason like that, you know? Miserable. Just miserable. I mean, she was kind of the emotional heart of the group. Yeah, mood maker was the word that they used. <sighs> and she's been executed. And all of that was really freaking weird. She apparently committed her crime because she was afflicted by the despair disease. Something like that. And for that matter, there's a lot of things she never confirmed. Isn't it, is it really that, that Nagito and Fuyuhiko and Kazuichi, did they just jump to conclusions about her remembering Hoax Peak? She didn't actually say that she did. She seemed to know a suspicious amount about... About what? World Ender. What does it have to do with Foundation. Hoax Peak? Huh? What does it have to do with Hoax Peak? She didn't say anything about that, did she? She didn't say anything about Hoax Peak at all. You're right. All she right. was talking about was World Ender. Yeah, yeah, you're right. No, it could all be true, sure. I don't doubt what she said. I mean, what what you're saying about it being at Hope's Peak, about what about the lost memories, that could be true. But if it's true, you didn't get any evidence of it from Mekon here. So what? What's finished? Nobody wanted it to end this way. Let me ask. Who was that Mekon from earlier? Was that her true form? Or is that itself a symptom of the despair disease? Damn it. It doesn't matter either way. If she ended up like that just from remembering, then all along, 
Nikon was never worth being a symbol of hope. But even if her words were influenced by the despair disease, if the disease turned her into that, if she lost herself to a simple disease, she was definitely unworthy of being a symbol of hope. Shut up, hmm. Nagito. He's got one of these moments at the end of every trial where he's just like, ah, well, guess the killer wasn't really worth anything, was he? Them, whatever. And it makes me so mad because he's applying his own monotheistic, like, val Monotheistic? I, I realize that wasn't the correct word. Monoistic values to other people. Hmm. You know, he's also saying this as one of the people who did lose himself to the despair disease. Yeah! Isn't that right? So, let's just move on. <laughs> Come on. Let's take all this despair and change it into hope, guys. Please wait. Th that is impossible. Uh, I mean, I thought we were friends this whole time, but even so... Hey, it was a freaking disease. What caused this? I, I don't know. Uh. Like a house of cards collapsing in an instant. In the end, she was always like this. The disease didn't cause yeah. it. She's the one who did it by remembering herself. In the end, our friend we thought we knew ended up showing us a completely different side of herself. Then she vanished from our sight, leaving behind only her malice towards us. You know, I may have mentioned this before. But I actually have more of a different take on it now. Uh huh. Uh, in Gundam Seed, yes, I found a way to bring robots into this, but we just got a rocket punch, so that already counts. I think that's fair. Near the end of Gundam Seed, the villain had this quote that really stuck with me this whole time. In the end, the only person we ever really understand is ourselves, he says, in the middle of the, of the fight. Mm -hmm. Well, the thing is, he's right. In the end... Do we really understand other people? The only person we have it even close to complete information on, close to, yeah. certainly relatively speaking, is ourself. But he was wrong, though. Do we really understand ourselves? Does anybody really understand themselves at all? I've been living 37 years, and I am still finding out things about myself that I never really understood. So... In the end, do you really know anybody at all? I'm I drawing mean, no conclusions. It's just that yeah. popped into my mind. And now, there's no way we can just move on or try to have a clear-cut attitude about these feelings. That's clearly impossible. Damn it! I'd really easily buy that last time. This time... This time, a little, a little more or less so, it's... It's shocking and it's tragic, sure, but I'm I'm more concerned for Ibuki and Hyoko. It would have been so much easier if she was the traitor, too. Yeah. Wrong. Too bad. That's not the case. I assure you, Mikan was not the traitor. Uh -huh. The traitor's still alive. As proof, see how fine Monomi looks right now? Oh, did I just tell you who it was? I, I'm not fine at all. It's not me, I think. Hmm? I, it could be Kazuichi. He would have the chutzpah to make a robot. Dude. I know that's a bit of a stretch. I'm sorry. No, not that. It's... How is it not Chiaki, then? I, no, I... Yeah, I was, I was just... I Chiaki was just is the one who talks to Motomi. I know. I was just entertaining the idea it could be someone else. But if the traitor died, you wouldn't be this calm, right? I mean, you're both pawns of the Future Foundation, so you guys are like two hearts beating as one, right? Alternately, we were looking at that in ter when he said that in terms of somebody actually operating Monomi. So maybe then it's more, it is Hajime, like I said. Anyway. Yeah. The point is, eventually we're going to get to one of the main protagonists <laughs> actually being the traitor. Right. You fiend. What does that make you, fiend? You did say that you're different from Moromi. Phew. 
Who cares about who I am? Me! Me! Over here! More important! I'm tired! You're a robot! The drama just kept going and going. I didn't even have time to eat my black bean right eye during the break. Hey! Your, your right eye is made out of black beans? And you eat your own eye? Hey, hey! Wait, now's not the time to focus on that. What are you trying to say? Hey, um... You know, isn't it said that life has its ups and downs? It's fun because downs come after ups. But if life was full of downs, like it was for poor Mekon... Wouldn't it get boring? <laughs> so, in order to help you guys feel better, I've prepared a special event. Oh, good. Special event? <laughs> Head over to the First Island's beach. An old friend will be waiting there. I guess we'll be getting Nekomaru back. Old friend? Huh? Could it be Nekomaru? Hey! Is it? It is, isn't it? Nekomaru was safe after all. Hmm. Hmm. Safe. How should I say this? Um. Do you think you can be hit by a bazooka and be safe? Go try it. Come on. I'll wait. <laughs> I knew it. I knew that crazy bastard Nekomaru would come back to us in one piece. <laughs> awesome. We're starting to see the light of hope. Um. The light of hope. Um. I am happy Nekomaru is returning to us, but. But I. So just as I thought. Three of our friends just died. So I honestly cannot be happy. Hmm. Something else that should be said about Mekon. And Sonia is really who kept pushing this and kind of reminded me of it. Okay, so the Mekon we knew here was a fake Mekon, a shell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Had no basis really in very much anything. Just like the deep and abiding pathos that he had. <laughs> However, that Mekon was our friend. I really liked that Mekon. It Me wasn't too. it wasn't Mekon, sure, but I think that Mekon was a little happier with herself. Oh I don't! <laughs> but it was someone. She was there and she did have friends. And now she's gone too. Yeah, so actually actually isn't it that Mekon did kill three people. She also killed the fake Mekon who had been with us this whole time. You're right. The most important person, or the most important existence of all, yourself. Wasn't that what was said? Yeah. Miss Sonia. However. Even so, I'm still happy. If Nekomaru is safe, I'm truly happy. Fine. If Nekomaru is safe. I know, I'm really concerned. If you are happy, you should honestly greet him with open arms. Perhaps those who have been taken from us would do the same if they still lived. Huh. Hey, Supreme Overlord, who gives a shit? <laughs> that line doesn't suit you at all. Get back in character, man. Come on. Silence. I shall crush you into dust. <laughs> Ibuki, Hyoko, Mikan, can you hear us? If you are unhappy, I apologize. However, please forgive me for right now. I, I want to warmly welcome Nekomaru when he returns to us. You don't have to worry, Sonia. I'm sure your feelings are reaching them. Right? Then let's all go greet Nekomaru. Let's make it grand, even for those who have died. <laughs> <laughs> what, what the heck? Do I still have the after effects of that disease? Sure, Connie. <laughs> that'll make you feel better. I don't get this at all. Connie. All right. All righty then. Let's go. Yeah, you're right. Is this going to end on a curiously weird note? Nekomaru's coming back. When we heard that, we were unable to contain our excitement as we jumped into the elevator. But who said that Nekomaru was coming back? Well... Nobody! Aww. Was there some conclusion jumping going on? Yeah, a little bit. He just said an old friend was waiting for us there. We had our memories taken of the past year. Who's it gonna be? I don't know! If it's even going to be... If it's even gonna be somebody at all. It might be Piakia! 
it might be a transfer student? A corpse of Nekomaru? A character from another game? Man, they just jumped to some conclusions again, which they seem to be doing, potentially, an awful lot these days, and just ran off without listening to what I had to say. Unbelievable. I, I was going to tell them in everything. They weren't going to be surprised, because I was going to tell them in advance. They're so impatient. Didn't they learn to stick around and tell others to finish talking? Um, w w what does that mean? Hey! You, you're plotting something again, aren't you? Their behavior isn't my fault. I don't have anything to do with it. <laughs> I'm not plotting anything. I was just trying to properly explain everything to them. If they're disappointed, it's their fault for not listening. Including Nekomaru's body. So it really is going to be a wipeout. <sighs> hmm? Huh? Nekomaru's body? Well, he never said he was... <laughs> oh, wow. BSG kind of was nailing my lines, wasn't it? It's their fault for not sticking around until I finish talking. <laughs> so if something happens because of that, I bear no responsibility. <laughs> hey, Damon. You sure are good at knowing how I think. Why is that? This is my doubting faith. <laughs> you, what did you do to Nekomaru? What's this? What did I do? I just saved him. That's all. I mean, if I didn't do that, there's no way I could have saved someone who was that close to death. The hell did you make him into a cyborg? Put his head in a jar? What it's... the hell did you do? Turn him into a robot? Those are the three possibilities. Or a statue. Or a stuffed animal. Or a stuffed doll. A monokuma. <gasps> His vo well, what yeah, we thought was his voice did come from a monokuma. That was a joke. Right. So it just couldn't be helped. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as we exited the elevator, we started running. Hurry to the beach on the first island. All right, All right let's haul ass. Okay, Even good. I was going to get really angry if we had to walk there. <laughs> Me too. Even though our minds were completely exhausted, strangely enough, our bodies felt light. Without stopping for anything, we kept right on running towards the beach on the first island. Where everything is going to get worse. Where in the world is Nekomaru? Oh god, he's not in the robot monkey, is he? The one that's always hiding its face? Hey! Hey! Nekomaru! Show yourself! Listen. We've come to pick you up. Please hurry up and come out of hiding. We raised our voices. We looked around the area. We raised our voices again. We looked around the area again. And so on and so forth. We kept looking for now him. Now it's time to dash some hopes. But... Hey, hey! What the hell, man? He's nowhere to be found! Damn it! Could it be? Did we get false info from Monokuma again? And that's when it happened. We heard a familiar voice echo throughout the beach. <laughs> what happened? Were y'all looking for me? Oh, I be? do not like the way he sounds. No. Th that voice. With high hopes in our hearts, we turned towards the direction of the voice. And then we saw something truly unbelievable. Is he a laptop on a tripod? Uh... Has he become an Osamu what Tezuka the? manga character? Yo! I've kept you waiting! Hey! What's going on? Perhaps you don't remember my face since we haven't seen each other in a while. That's pretty sad, you know? That's too much! <laughs> has he... Has he become Great Mazinger? <laughs> he does appear to be drastically different. Um... Who are you? Huh? You too? What's going on? If you're messing with me, I'll stop doing it to you. 
Um, Nekomaru? Have you perhaps looked in a mirror since you got out of the hospital? Haven't you noticed it yourself? What do you mean, noticed? Oh, you mean this body? <laughs> this is nothing! Yeah? Oh, oh my Next god! Nidai. I've been reborn in the rivers of hell! So he really is an Osamu Tezuka manga character. You, you're, you're right out of uh, Tetsuan Adam, Astro Boy there, aren't you? <laughs> Can I say that I appreciate your drill goatee? <laughs> Due to the very specific circumstances that I am in, uh -huh. rather uh, as a known quantity, yeah. it could be worse. He didn't seem that broken up about it. Who was the third person in Monomi, Wizard of Monomi? The Tin Man. Who got torn to pieces. Okay! The Tin Man who got <laughs> torn to pieces. <laughs> now that he's a robot, he doesn't have the lightning brow. And he can't do it either. Well, maybe he could. I don't think his touch is... We similar. don't know! I was thinking that he kind of looked like something from, from the old, but, uh, never mind. I was about to make a really old, kind of well-known, but nowadays obscure manga reference involving robots uh, and Mars and giant robo, but. Uh -huh. yeah. This has been the weirdest day. At least he's around. That's true. Is it medicine or social skill? Um, by the way, do you want me to take my clothes off? Because I will. If it'll make you stop hating me, will you forgive me? Dun Ha <laughs> ha